together with about 30 or 40 other people, um, I was involved in organising and publicising Britain's first ever Gay Pride Parade, which took place in London in July 1972. Uh, when we conceived this idea, um, we were very unclear and uncertain about how many people would actually turn out. Uh, in those days, most LGBT people were closeted, uh, and many were actually quite hostile to the campaign for LGBT rights. They thought we should keep our heads down, remain invisible, that was the best approach. Uh, those of us who are in the Gay Liberation Front, we believed it was important to assert that gay is good and that we had a right to claim public space and have full equality and human rights. On the day, um, many of us were surprised, not disappointed, that we got about 700 people. We thought that was quite a good turnout. Um, and when we marched, we found that there was virtually a police officer for every single one of us. We were hemmed in tightly on the road. Um, the police were quite hostile. Not every officer, but many of them were overtly hostile. Some of them shouted abuse and insults, calling us poofs, queers, faggots, lesos. Um, it was a very intimidating atmosphere. Um, we felt that we were being treated like criminals. And indeed, of course, uh, in law we were. You know, despite the partial decriminalisation of 1967, most aspects of gay life remained criminal. Um, so that event was, was a pioneering one. And of course, the reaction of the crowd, the passers-by, the people on the street, was also very interesting. Um, not surprisingly, about a third of the people on the street were overtly hostile. Uh, some threw coins, uh, bottles, cans, and shouted abuse. But we actually thought a third was less than we'd expected. Then there was another third of the you know, passing public who were curious or indifferent. They just stared and gawped as if they were shocked and surprised that any gay person would dare show their face in public, let alone assert their right to be gay and their demand for equality. And then the other third were positively supportive. They cheered, applauded, clapped. It was really, really surprising. We did not expect about one third of the people on the streets would actually support us. So it was a very instructive lesson about the police and about the public. Um, and of course, since then, uh, gay pride parades have gone from strength to strength and the public support is now almost entirely universal.